Welcome everybody. Uh, this is Stephanie Chase and I am on Instagram as the Joy of Needlepoint and um, my YouTube channel is the Joy of Needlepoint. I thought today I would show you um, some demonstration on bullion knots and I'm going to show you this um, piece that I just recently got back from the finisher and you can see on his hair where I have done a series of bullion knots in a variety of different directions. So that just kind of gives you an idea of how you can utilize, um, or at least one way you can utilize the bullion knot. I am going to be demonstrating this today um, using a milliner needle. And um, it is, the ones I use are from Tulip and the difference between the milliner needle and just your regular tapestry needle is one, it's very long. And then two, the diameter of the shaft is the same from the point all the way up to the eye. And that will be a game changer as you are doing your bullion knots. Um, with our tapestry needle, the eye of the needle is typically a little bit flared. And so after you do your bullion wraps, it makes it a little bit more difficult to get your needle back through um, your wraps. So let me just start demonstrating. So I'm going to start with a waist knot. And to begin with, I'm just going to do some straight bullions. And um, the thickness of your bullion is going to be completely dependent upon the thickness of your thread. The length of your bullion is going to be completely dependent upon the number of wraps that you make around your needle. So you can tell that the longer the needle, the longer bullion knot you are able to make. With a tapestry needle, you are somewhat limited into the length of your bullion. So I'm going to come up and hold one. I am going to go down in hole two. Now I'm going to move straight vertical. Now I'm going to bring the tip of my needle back up through hole one. I am going to hold it underneath the canvas here. I'm holding the eye of the needle. It allows me to move this up and down and it allows me to move it around as I'm doing my wraps. So this extra thread is going to then become my wrap. So I am going to wrap it a couple times and then just kind of squeeze it down towards the canvas. Wrap it a couple more times. You want your wraps to be to lay smoothly on the shaft of your needle. You don't want them to um, bunch up or overlap one another. So I'm just con continuing to wrap. And then to measure the length, I'm going to move my needle down. And you can see where I've got a few too many wraps. Let me make sure that's all the way down. Got a little bit too many wraps. So let me take a few off. Put a few more back on. And then lay it down. It's I need a few more. You want your wraps to be maybe two wraps longer than your entry hole. because you want to make sure you've got enough wraps to cover up your inner thread. Okay, so that should be good enough. So I've got my wraps pushed all the way down to the canvas. They're not squished, but they are just nicely pushed snugly down to the eye of the needle. I am then going to hold these wraps at the top so that they don't unravel and then pull my needle through while I'm holding the wraps. And then I'm gonna continue to just, you know, play with these a little bit, make sure they're laying all the way down at the eye where I came up, squeeze them in, and then I'm gonna go back down into hole number two. And then that is a straight bullion. Now, to make it longer, all you would do is come up at hole one, go down at hole two, come back up at hole one, 
and then start the process over again. So as you can tell, I'm just continuing to wrap. You know, you are gonna have to hold your wraps a little bit snug so that they don't spin off your needle. But I'm just gonna continue to wrap to get the length that I want. So this is where you can see that if you are working on your regular um, tapestry needle that you do your traditional um, needle pointing with, um, you're gonna run out of wraps. You're not gonna be able to wrap it to get a, a really long length. All right, so I'm gonna show you, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this through. I don't think I have enough wraps on here, but I want to go ahead and pull it through to show you if you don't get enough wraps. So if you don't get enough wraps on your needle, you see how you can see this thread popping out the end here, just a little bit? That is the center thread that came through the bullion knot. That's why you want to wrap it one or two wraps longer than your entry point so that you can cover up this center thread. So let me, now I want to show you how to do a curved bullion. This is a great stitch for um, petals. You know, you can do outlines of petals, florals, um, <clears throat> really anything that you want to add some dimension to. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to start with my waist knot up here. And just so you know, I am using um, Vineyard Merino, which I think makes beautiful bullion knots just because of the way the, the Merino is spun. You can pretty much do bullion knots with just about anything. I'm not real confident how you would like your bullion knots if you did it with a ribbon type thread, but um, it, you certainly can try it. All right, so now I'm going to do a curved one. Coming up at hole one. This time, I am going to go down in hole two, right next to where I came up. And now I'm gonna come my, put my needle back up in hole one, and I am now going to start wrapping. Now, because you are going to be making a curve, you're just going to have to judge how long you need your bullion to be, how many wraps you need your bullion to be to get the size curve that you are looking for. I'm going to make this one fairly long just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so, all right, so I'm squeezing my wraps down to the base of the canvas. See how they're laying nicely on the needle. I am now gonna let go of the eye of the needle, come around on top of my canvas and pull it through. Okay. So now I am going to curve it. When you curve it, you need to just make sure that you continue to pull that center thread tightly so that it doesn't leave a loop at the top. And then I'm going back down into hole two, and there is my circle. Now, oftentimes you're gonna need to tack this down. So I just take the thread that is currently on the needle that I'm doing my bullion with, and I come up, and just create A little tack and now it's tacked down okay so one thing I will caution you about when you are wrapping your needle when you're up here wrapping your needle and then you start pulling it through the tail of your thread can oftentimes get stuck in your inside your bullion if that happens don't panic just find the tail and weave it out and then continue pulling. Your wraps may get ugly looking, but they are still on your needle and you can work them so that they will lay nicely. So I just wanted to show you just a few other samples of some bullions that I have here. Let me see if I can zoom in on these. 
There we go. So there's a circle, another circle, and then these are just some longer bouillons. Okay? So I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please like it. Leave me some comments, and I will be certain to um, respond back to you. Have a great day.